Hello, welcome back. Ten to nine. James is in the house. <laughs> James is in the house. I like that. Thanks, Rory. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm here at uh, Westpac Stadium ahead of the food show. The doors open in just over an hour's time. But to tell us more, I've got uh, Dr. Lib uh, Lib Libby Weaver here. Sorry, Libby. <laughs> <laughs> and her trusty sidekick, uh, Chef Cynthia Louise. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, James. Uh, tell us, what can people expect at the show? Because this, this goes off every year. There are thousands of people that pour through the, those doors, isn't there? It does. The Wellingtonians love their food. So there's over 160 exhibitors here. So there's something for everyone. There's artisan food products, gourmet food products products, some beautiful locally grown and organic produce and there's a real healthy twist coming through which we're of course happy to see. Yeah, now tell me about this healthy twist because we're making carrot cake and in my experience uh, carrot cake is like cream cheese, lots of sugar but I'm not seeing any of that here. Talk no, us no, through no. it. What are, we, what are we doing here? So it's all out of the Real Food Chef cookbook which has been a runaway success. We've got walnuts, we've got coconut, we've got dates, we've got some beautiful warming spices. So Cynthia's created that, not even cooked it and into an incredible cake that you see there. She's just icing the cake. The ice Icing is made from cashews, some beautiful pure maple syrup, which gives us some even more calcium, magnesium, helps us relax, great for our bones. It is so healthy, you can eat it for breakfast. Eat it for breakfast, yeah. and I think that's what we're going to do very shortly. But So no cream cheese on this carrot cake. I, I have to say, I'm not really, I'm going to have to try it, but I'm not convinced. Does it taste as good as, as a normal cream cheese? Uh, carrot cake? It tastes better and it's not, we know that, f I'm obsessed with getting people to eat nutritious food but it's got to be delicious so I can't wait to see your eyes light up as you swallow right. this James. Hey we've only got about uh, 20 seconds but can I just have a quick cut, uh, quick slice of that cake mm -hmm. just so I can make everyone jealous up in Auckland. You can, we've even turned it into some videos that are available at drlibby.com, it's a brand new online series that we've released here for the food show, there's the downloadable version and the hard copy, cool. it's a great launch right, special. So you, you can actually watch you guys actually putting these whole things together because it's very different when you you actually, actually uh, read it as opposed to watching it. That's it. We, we All right, guys. Into your kitchen. Here we go. Piece in the time left on air. You have to the entire yeah, piece in the time left on air. <laughs> I can't talk back to you guys, but that hey, is damn James, good cake. Do check it out. Carrot cake you can eat for breakfast from the real food chef. James, <laughs> when you finish your mouthful, can you tell Dr. Libby that the breakfast team has been fed up on the brain balls from her cookbook this morning? You've been what? That fed up I on the fed brain the... balls from your cookbook. <laughs> yes. Ah, that's a good thing. Happy with that. And they, that and they went, they yeah, went down a Nadine's. treat. Oh, I'm so happy about that, Nadine. <laughs> they went down a treat because this is what's left. Nothing. All gone. They went down a treat. <laughs> it's all gone. They've been stuffing the gob all morning. Oh, I'm so great. <laughs> Music to our ears. Mind good you, if you, bought, if you bought fried chicken and they'd still be all gone. So, I mean... But I'm no, doing, were, doing good things for your health. Definitely making me think more about eating healthier food. Very good, uh, Nadine. It was nice. Thank you, James. And well done, Libby. Now, up next.